Hi, I'm Abigail Amper from the Five Towns. I'm Jenny Davis from Manhattan. And we're gonna do a Q&A about childhood for women today. Our first question is, where is our school located? We're in Malcha, Yerushalayim, which is about a 25 minute bus ride from the old city. Okay, what's it like being from out of town trying to make friends in Shalvim? Um, Rabbi Goldsmith always says that now that we all live in your slime, we're all in town. Um, but if you're from out of town in America, um, making friends in Shalvim is just like really easy because everyone here is welcoming and wants to branch out and wants to make friends and everyone just is chill with each other and just always like good vibes and and we all want to make friends with each other and we're all Shalvim sisters. <laughs> These sisters. <laughs> Our next question is what makes your program unique? So a few things that make Shalvin unique is how small the school is. So we're able to be really tight knit. We're able to have a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with our Bayim and teachers. And that's another thing that makes Shalvin really unique is our teachers are really, really there for us around the clock. They're always available to discuss anything, to discuss personal things, to discuss Jewish things and learning. Um, another thing that makes Shavim really, really great and unique is that everything is in one building. So our dorms, our Khadr Ochel, our Beit Midrash are all in one building. So you have easy access to everything. If you want to go learn early in the morning, early at night, you don't have to leave the building to do it. If you want to go to your room between classes, it's all available for you. Okay, let's talk about sports and exercise in Shavim for women. Um, we have a small gym, which has a treadmill and an elliptical, and we have we're in a really quiet, nice neighborhood where you can walk around and girls really like to take walks during their breaks throughout the day. Um, there's basketball courts across the street and there's an SFW ballers chat and they have pickup basketball games um, throughout the week. And the Malcolm Mall is right nearby, like down a bunch of steps, which is also really good exercise. Um, and there's a gym in Malcolm Mall that some people got memberships to. Our next question is what backgrounds do most kids come from? Shalvin is a modern orthodox school and the type of girl that goes is a girl who's very growth oriented and wants to fill her year with Torah and mitzvot. Um, and while majority of us are Ashkenaz, we do have a big contingent of Sephardi girls and our classes are very um, open to both sides and teach Ashkenaz and Sephardi halacha. Okay, next is are there rules in Shalvin and do we have independence and do they are they on top of you all? So first, um, there are rules. We have curfew at 12 every night, um, but there's definitely a lot of independence here. You could go out whenever you have a break. We could like go wherever you want whenever you have a break. Um, but they really give us a lot of independence um, and freedom because they know that the girls that are coming here are girls who are looking to learn, looking to grow, and looking to spend their time meaningfully. Um, at the same time, like while they're not on top of us, they're definitely there for us and always looking to make sure that we're okay. And if we need anything, and if we want to talk, if we want to chat, um, every girl has a mechanecha or mechanich, and they have you can have weekly meetings, and um, all teachers are just always there to talk and talk things out and make sure you're doing okay. So they're not on top of us, but they're there for us. We also have four amazing medjuchot that we can talk to about anything that are there for us. Um, we also have an aim by who we text all the time and she does a lot for us. And we have a campus couple, which a lot of schools don't have, which basically because our aim by doesn't actually live here, there's a young couple that lives here and they're also here for us. They post by Khams and they're just around to answer questions and hang out. Let's talk about the different restaurants in Malka. So Malka is a really, really quiet and pretty neighborhood to walk around in. And we have a lot of stuff here. Right downstairs in the same building in Shalom, actually, we have a restaurant called Abby Kyle's and the Super Soul, which is like Makolet. Down the block, we have another Makolet. And there's also another cafe. We're also a 10 minute walk away from Malka Mall, which has every restaurant ever. It has ice cream, it has candy, it has Greg's and pizza Meat, and everything. Dairy, everything. And it's just fun to like walk there with your friends whenever you have a break and just like pick up something to eat, eat there, and it's just like really convenient. What are the Shauna Alf and Sean Bat relationships like in Shalvin for Women? Um, Shauna Alf and Sean Bat are really close. Sean Bat is like around 20 girls, so it's a small program, and um, they're there for us. They're fun, they lead the programs, they're always at all our programs. Um, they're there to have chaburas and chaversas, and they're always just like, bringing in the energy and in the beginning when it was like super awkward, they totally just like got us into it. Um, they know the Shalvim jokes, the Shalvim songs, and they're totally just like 
like getting us into it and it's super fun to have them here. Our next question is how many kids are in our program? This year there's about 68 girls. Normally it's around that number, so between 60 and 70. Um, and it's really, really special because it's a smaller program where we can be very close and we know everybody and it's, it creates a very tight community. This year there's about 20 Shana Bat, and each year it's a little bit different, but it's always around that number, 15 to 20. Okay, so what's our daily schedule like? Um, everyone wakes up on their own time and dive in wherever you want and then there's breakfast out before class. Class starts at 8.55 and then we have a class for a little over an hour and then there's face time for an hour. And then there's another class which is also a little over an hour. Um, and then there's lunch for two hours. You could go out, do whatever you want, use that time, like just however you want to use it. Um, and then we have, depending on the day, two or three classes after lunch. And then we have dinner for two hours. Um, and then there's night theater for two hours from eight to 10, um, depending on the night. Like there's some nights we have a guest speaker, some nights we have share Collie for an hour. Um, and then the other hours, like free base time to learn. Um, and then from 10 to 12, you're also off. And then at 12 is curfew. On Mondays, we have um, the morning set of classes. And then at lunch, we're off to do chesed. Um, and Monday nights are also off nights. So you're off from 12.45 till curfew, which is at 12. Um, and we have a whole chesed program where every girl is set up with a different chesed around um, your, mostly in your slime. And um, you have the opportunity to do that chesed once a week. Where are most kids from in our program? Most kids are from uh, the Tri-State area, New York, New Jersey. We do have a bunch from Canada though, two from London, a Cleveland, and for Florida, LA. Really, we're from everywhere. Okay, well, how do we do job in? Um, the, the learning level here is a really good balance. Um, it's definitely hard and it's gonna push you. And Rebecca Goldsmith always says that it's a gym, not a spa, but your work really pays off. and. And the learning, just like it's really, it really enhances like your whole experience, like the level of learning here, um, which is something that I really was looking forward to. Um, also, the girls here have an amazing reputation of just being a really nice, amazing group of girls that are fun and and just like always want to have a good time, but like also into learning and growing and and have like a, a really set mindset on why they're here for the year. What are the teachers' student relationships like at Chalvin? Our teachers are really always there for us. We have a Mechanef Mechanef program, which is kind of like an advisor. So each student has an advisor who they're able to talk about anything with, from classes to personal life to anything else in between. And our teachers are really, really passionate about what they teach. And they really show that to you, whether it's in the classroom or in a conversation between classes. And they're always here. There's literally teachers here from 8.55 in the morning till sometimes like 10.30, 11 o'clock at night that are just always accessible and always available to you. What's the food like at Chalvin? So we have three meals a day. Breakfast is lighter, lunch and dinner are more like hot meals. And our cook, Bracho, cooks them all and he's incredible, he's the best. And the food's good. A lot of people will cook their own food or go out, but we have all the Yeah, meals. also the meals, most meals have like a salad bar and a soup with it. So, um, and like the main meal and then also some side dishes. So there's a lot going on always. Jenny, do you hear that? What is that? It's a Malva Malka Zumba going on right now. I guess we'll have to resume this later. <laughs> Okay, the next question is, are you happy you came to Shalvin for the year in Israel? And yes, we love it. We've made so many new friends already. We learned so much already and we grew so much already. And it's only just the beginning. There's so much more to go. Our next question is, does our program always allow us to have our phones? Um, Shalvin gives us a lot of independence. So they do encourage us to leave our phones outside of the base or outside of classrooms, but they give us independence to make a decision for ourselves whether or not we want to have our phones on us. Okay, what's your favorite thing about Chalvin? So mine is the student-teacher relationship. The teachers are so accessible and so easy to talk to and always there for us and also just a very easy relationship and they want to hang out and they want to talk and they want to have a relationship with you. My favorite thing is the amount of shtick and like fun things we do. So last night we had a Malava Malika Zumba party and everybody really like pulled up and was like wearing fun cheeky costumes and having a great time and it was really, really fun to be part of. 
next question is you get to choose your roommate so there's a front room and a back room in Chalvin and you get to choose your roommate and then you get matched with sweet mates and they choose each other and then you guys get matched together okay so our next question is are classes more text-based or more discussion based and you definitely have a range in all the classes but everything is pretty text-based and classes are geared towards higher level learners. Describe the different levels of learning and classes given. So we have a lot of classes, mostly Tanakh, Halakha, and Makhshava classes, and they're all text-based. Some classes follow text more closely. So some classes are also more hands-on, like the teacher teaches the entire thing and like you will like put in your input, but it's mostly the teacher's teaching, and some classes are very clever to base. Okay, what is the dorm setup, and how many girls in a room, and do you have a kitchen? So the dorm setup, I kind of said it before, is that there's, you walk in and there's a front room, and then there's a door to another room. There's two beds in the front room and two beds in the back room, and then there's a little kitchenette in the front room, and there's a bathroom in the room. The kitchenette comes with a mini fridge and a sink, and cabinet space and sometimes you'll find a toaster oven in your room or a burner but you can buy whatever kitchen utensils you want and leave them in your room. If you don't like your shearim, is it easy to switch? So in the beginning of the year we have two weeks to try out all the classes and you can jump around to any of the classes in the slot so there's around three or four classes per slot and you're able to um whenever that slot happens just move around and try out the different classes that you want and at the end of the two weeks you can register for classes past those two weeks it's definitely still an option to switch around your schedule you just have to talk about it with the school and they're very easy about it and it's really it's like not a problem and you're able to try out more classes if you feel like you need more time okay what is something to look forward to on our program Shaolin is really special because it keeps us in for Yantif on Rosh Hashanah. So we're able to and have, Kippur. And Kippur. So we're able to have the most beautiful davening all together. And especially because it's the beginning of the year, it's very hard to find a place to go. And they keep us, and they don't only keep us, they make it so fun and meaningful and uplifting. And we spent Yantif at Yeshivat Shaolin. So the davening is really amazing and really uplifting and really inspiring and just lots of like song and dance and it's really beautiful. What type of trips does Shalvin take us on? So we've been on a few hikes, water hikes, um, fun activities, chasad activities. We've gone um, to sleep at the Kotel. We've gone to the Kotel just to dom and all together. Um, and we're looking forward to meaningful trips that include lots of learning and spirituality, like spot job tone and different types of tools throughout the whole year. Does our program set us up for Shabbat? So, there's a list of people who will host you in the school. It always helps you find people to go to, and teachers love to host students. And yeah, you never have a Shabbat where you don't have a place to go. Why should you choose Shalvim for women? So Shalvim for winners, as we like to say, is just an amazing place that fosters growth and learning and friendship and just lifelong skills and memories. And Shalvim is just the best. Like. I don't know. What else can I say? Come to Shalvin. Shal Does our program ever close its doors? Shalvin is always open, except for Yantif of Sugis. And if you ever want to stay in for Shabbat or something else, there's always a Madricha here or the campus couple. Okay, what is one piece of advice that we want to give to you guys? Um, I think that it's really hard to choose a seminary because you hear a lot of stuff from your friends and people around you that are just talking about things that they hear but may not necessarily be true. I think that gathering your own information and really making a decision based on who you are and what you feel is going to work best for you is really important and not going with what everyone else is saying and what people want you to do and what people think would be best for you because you really know yourself the best and you really can make the best decision for yourself. It's also really important to find a place that you connect to and that you really can see yourself being in. And it's also important to remember that it's so scary to choose a place, but no matter where you go, you're gonna make the best of it. And it's gonna be an incredible, incredible experience because it's the best year ever. And everywhere you go, is gonna be amazing. Thanks so much for watching our Shadow Them Q&A. See you at SFW 5785. Woo! <laughs>